Hey, it's Paige Wilhide with Paige Media, and today I'm going to share my five tips on becoming a better editor. First, I wanna start with a story. When I was younger, we used to have this tote bag. It's a 10 ways to become a better reader, and the list said read, 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 10 times. So those are the 10 ways to become a better reader. That leads into my five tips on becoming a better editor. And tip number one being edit, 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 edit. The point is, the more you practice editing, the better you'll get at it and the more you'll remember it. If you just edit once a year, you'll have to refresh your memory every single time you go back to that program. So. Try to do it on a regular basis. Find things that you can edit or practice on. Um, just have fun with it and keep practicing it. Tip number two is to save constantly. You never know when the program might crash or your computer might turn off unexpectedly or your hard drive might blow up, in which case saving it wouldn't help anything. Every five minutes, save your project. Tip number three, use keyboard shortcuts. All of these editing programs, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, they use keyboard shortcuts that make it so much easier for you to edit and make you more efficient and faster at it. So go into your program, you can Google search it, or watch videos on YouTube that give some examples and learn the really quick keyboard shortcuts that you can use to cut and paste your footage together. Tip number four, use an external mouse. A lot of us are probably editing our videos on a laptop and the keypad is fine, but your thumb will start to cramp after a while and I don't want anybody to develop carpal tunnel from editing, this is not worth it. Use a mouse, buy an external mouse, they're cheap, get it on Amazon, and you'll really save your hand a lot of pressure and pain, and it also helps you edit a lot faster. My sister just called, Rachel, hold on, I'm doing videos. Tip number five is to edit on an external hard drive. You'll learn very quickly that if you put all of your video files onto your computer's hard drive, it will slow it down tremendously. So invest in a good hard drive, at least a terabyte, maybe more depending on what you are editing. This is the kind that I love to use. It's um, Lacy, Lacy? Something along those lines. L-A-C-I-E, I'll link to it in the description. These are very compact, very portable. It fits in the palm of my hand, and they're pretty darn durable. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily throw it against a wall unless you're trying to punish yourself for some absurd reason, but you can move it around in your laptop bag. It can kind of go with you anywhere. It's a pretty good travel companion. I love you. External hard drive, get it. So those are my five editing tips for any editing program that you're using. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. Do you have another editing tip that you'd love to share with people? Let me know what you think in the comments. See you soon.